What's up, YouTube? <laughs> Thanks for watching last week's episode. Uh, right next to me is, uh, is Simon and, uh, and Dan from the UK. You probably know him. So they just arrived yesterday for the uh, Better Alias seminar and to do some, uh, some training with me. So we trained this morning in, uh, in Eindhoven. Today is Saturday. And uh, we're just enjoying the beautiful weather we have right now. All right, guys? Yeah, very nice. How's the experience so far? Good. Very good. <laughs> yeah, I bet, I bet. So, uh, what are the plans for today? Training. Training. Three hours of training later. Yeah. So, we're going to be back uh, with some footage from the seminar and show you guys uh, how this weekend is going to be. It's going to be awesome. And uh, maybe some of you are going to be included as well. See you. Recording some stuff for the vlog. Uh, so yeah, we're back again. Had a nice drink. There is now we're gonna roll outside. The weather is beautiful. Put the mats here and now we're gonna roll. Put some work in. Right then? Yep. Take down let's start. So why isn't this choke coming along? Not very enough. No, no, it's not the problem. It's not being deep enough. So the problem is how you uh, apply the choke. So first, it starts with the grip. You want a three-finger grip. It's a full hand grip. So like this. Then you have this one. You try to do something right here, but if I'm controlling the G, I'm trying to squeeze this one, it won't work against me. So I can grab this one, and now it's just a really tight turn. I, my elbow is going on your shoulder, and it's just with the hand, just kind of move. If I try to do this, what you're doing, put some strength on the back of my neck, but not really choking me. But now there's a chance. So it's just this turn I make with the hand. So, of course, it has to be under tension. Then I twist. You take the slack with the other one, and then you just... Yeah, so these two fingers and your thumb are having the control. <laughs> I keep your elbow low, because I try to work your elbow, of course, for the escape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now go for the choke. A lot better. <laughs> That's another one of them. That's so easy. It's just a different rather than doing that. Yeah, yeah. So you're doing this another. Oh, I like that. It's the, it's the collar. As I was saying, when you did a cross collar choke, you don't pull with your arms, do you? No, you it's just a twist. Yeah, yeah. A twist. The thing is, you know, throughout the years, Harold and, and, and Hicks and our other instructors gave me all those tips, and I'm still doing. But at one point, it all makes sense. You yeah. know. Oh, don't, you know, uh, the most important thing is the grip, okay? But what is it that you need? You better have a good grip, but a good grip isn't a full hand grip, because what will happen if you have it like this, and you start working for the choke, you change the angle in which the, uh, yeah, you change the angle of the gi. And of course, as a defense, the other guy is trying to pull and break the grip. Opens it. So there's the most stress on the weakest finger. So that opens up as a kind of like a domino. Yeah. You lose it. And you lose a lot of strength in this grip. So instead of just working on the grip, pulling the grip, you want all that pressure to go on the neck and on the artery. Oh, you choke them out. So it's three fingers. Yeah, and these are just for, for show, basically. Yeah. So I don't want them to break. So it's not that I'm going to do this. So someone's around. So there's just no grip. It's your grip yeah. in. Right. Yeah. Through your book. Yeah. 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 No. That's yeah. good. Mm. This, this is someone. Something else. <laughs> so Rule, we're here at the seminar. Great seminar. Great seminar, right? Yes. Good man. Yeah. A lot of people. Busy seminar. The 
seminar and uh, Frank and Harold are going over the moves. And in the back, the people are taking pictures. Come on, Guido. <laughs> Just doing some jiu-jitsu and filming. <laughs> move, move. <laughs> so we're here with uh, Pedro, Harold, and Raul. Yeah, we need a bigger frame, I think, for the for the camera. Maybe a little bit like this. So uh, yeah. We've had a seminar. Did you like it? Uh, yeah, it was yeah. great. Yeah, it was great. A lot of guys, and I can see like uh, the love for jujitsu. You know. Yeah. And what do you think of the level of, of everybody? In Very there? good. Yeah. yeah. Um, I actually got a chance to go to Raul's school yesterday, and I was just going to watch. <laughs> but um, the vibe was good, and I ended up training. And all the guys had very good jujitsu. You know, yeah. it's it's nice that we have the same type of system. So. A lot of the things apply together, you know. Cool, yeah. Um, you know, this video is recorded after the seminar, so thank you guys for all the positive feedback. Uh, we talked about with Pedro, and you know, really love having him here, sharing uh, the jiu-jitsu with us. And uh, you know, li like we said, he trains a lot with with Hickson as well, and with his father. So there's so much rich history directly from Helio and Hickson that you know, in case you missed it. You should be there next time. Yeah, for, for sure. sure, for sure. Yeah, you guys agree, right? Yes. Yeah. So right now we're gonna have some food, and thanks for watching, guys.